Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. Thank you so much for keeping it locked. So we're about to delve into the world of golf. The South African Women's Open was first played in 1988. It's the oldest and most prestigious, undoubtedly professional women's golf tournament in the country. The Open is uh, sanctioned by the Women's PGA of South Africa and the Ladies European Tour and is played as part of the Sunshine Ladies Tour. Let's give you a bit of a preview. Well, a very good morning from my side. We're coming to you live right now from the Westlake Golf Club for the 2020 edition of the South African Women's Open. First played in 1988, making it the oldest and most prestigious professional women's golf tournament in the country. That is uh, sanctioned, of course, by the Women's PGA of South Africa and the LT or the LET, the Ladies European Tour, and brings together uh, rookies, uh, professionals, of course, all vying for the title. And I'm joined right now by uh, two very excited ladies who are getting ready for for the big weekend ahead, Zetumieki, South African professional golfer, as well as Charlotte Thompson, uh, all the way from England. A very good morning to both of you ladies, and thanks for making the time. I know that you're in your routine this morning, getting ready uh, to tee off, but uh, in terms of the weekend ahead, uh, what's the feeling, what's the excitement like for you right now, Zetu? Let me start with you. I'm, I'm really excited. This is my second SA Open. I played last year as an amateur. Um, it's my first year as, as a pro. I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, yesterday was the first round at the do as much like well um, but um, today is another day I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. Charlotte what about you this is also your return to the South African Women's Open. It is indeed it's so nice to be back and um, the people and everything is so friendly the place is amazing um, the weather has been perfect for the tournament a little bit different for the practice rounds but for the tournament we can't complain yeah. so really looking forward to a couple more days and we're doing some sightseeing this afternoon as well so we get both sides, so it's really good. Oh, that's wonderful to hear that. Uh, in terms of the, the confidence uh, in your own game going into the weekend, uh, where does it lie? And uh, also, I mean, your, your goals that you've set for yourself for the weekend, what are you looking to achieve? Um, for me, I mean, I haven't been playing my best golf um, this season, but it's golf, it happens. Um, today, I'm just going to take it to one shot at a time and, and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. I'm very similar. I didn't play my best golf yesterday, but the scoring is quite bunched, so it's still out there for anyone to take. And obviously, there's still two more rounds to go, so. It's all to play for. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Zeti, I want to focus a little bit on you just for a moment to talk about your story because you've had uh, an incredible trajectory from your days starting off in development golf to where you are right now playing as a pro. What has that journey been like? Um, it hasn't been an easy journey, um, but I believe um, if you believe in something, you've got to, to follow your heart and mm -hmm. do it. Um, but I mean, with the help of SAGDP, um, Border Ladies, and Else Foundation, um, Women's Golf South Africa, I mean, I wouldn't be where I am now. Yeah. Um, I'm really grateful that they gave me opportunities to, to actually be where I am right yeah. now. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, Charlotte, for you, looking at uh, Zetu playing in uh, her first as a pro uh, South African Women's Tournament, what, what would be some of your, your advice that you might give to her? I mean, she seems to have got it in her head, sus, as well as she said, like, Every, every shot as it comes, every day is different. It's golf. We have good days, bad days. Some days your bad days are better than some of your good days. You just don't know. It's just a typical game. She knows her stuff, and it's so great to see girls coming through from yeah. all countries, and so good to see where the game is going. Yeah. Speaking of that, and I think in the, in the currency of the world where we are trying to uh, raise the profile of women's sport all across the board, what would you say? Is, uh, what would you say are some of the challenges um, that are that are being faced? Um, we're, we're getting more opportunities to yeah. play, which is huge for us. Um, all the way through from grassroots level and up, there's so many more opportunities for young girls, girls, teenagers, women's golfers, all the way through the board. There's just a lot more opportunity, and I just hope that carries on. Yeah. Zetu, for you, uh, dreams of South African golf, where would you like to see the sport growing, especially from a female perspective in the country? Um, definitely. I mean, I'll say for now, uh, um, example, that the sport is growing. Um, we got to play more tournaments even now. Um, but, I mean, getting more tournaments, because, um, I mean, after the tour now, there's, there's no tournaments to play. So just, just um, introducing more tournaments um, for the future would be great for, for South African golfers. Yeah. Uh, let's talk specifically about the South African Women's Open at the beautiful Westlake Golf Club. Uh, what are your thoughts on the tournament itself from an organizational point of view? I mean, from an aesthetic point of view, this is a beautiful looking uh, golf course. I'm sure you're both excited to get out Yeah, this is, this is a great golf course. I mean, it's, it's beautiful and, and challenging. I mean, um, all the organizers have done such a great um, um, work um, for, uh, to make this possible yeah. for the players, so we're really grateful for that. Yeah, Charlotte, I mean, you, you're used to playing on the uh, Ladies European Tour. How does 
this setting compared to some of the ones that you're used to seeing out there? It's amazing when the day is clear and you hit a bad shot and you look around, you just you sort of forget <laughs> the shot that you've hit because it's just so beautiful, you get lost in the scenes, but um, it's an amazing golf course and it's really good and I'm so glad to have it on our schedule. Yeah. Could we be looking forward to seeing you back again here? 100%. Without a doubt. 100%. Fantastic. Well, fine, by the way, what does the rest of the year look like uh, for the both of you? So, let me start off with you. Um, for me, after this, I'm going to play some IGTs um, back in Jobek and um, golf, um, Vodacom Origins. And in December, I'm hoping to go to, to Europe um, yeah, for, for um, my card um, to play that side. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, so for us, it's just a full schedule on the LET. It's looking like a really positive year this year. So. 2020 has been a breakthrough year for the LET, so I'm hoping we just push on through there. We've got lots of tournaments, so, so yeah, it's really exciting. And I think in closing, maybe if you could just share some words of inspiration for young female golfers out there that look at, look upon you as, as you know, their heroes in life and thinking, I'd like to be a Charlotte one day. I'd love to be <laughs> as there to one day. What words of advice and inspiration would you have for them? Keep practicing hard, but enjoy it. If you lose the enjoyment, that's when you'll start to play bad and things like we absolutely love the game so just keep it keep practicing keep working hard but enjoy um for me i'd say just follow your heart i mean your only limit is yourself yeah, yeah. well fantastic to have had a chat with both of you ladies thank you for making the time you good thank luck you for nice. the weekend ahead thank, thank you. you very much thank you